I'm Black Bright News, as you probably know, if it's the first time you're passing through, you're welcome to my channel. You can like, subscribe and yeah, you can share it with your friends if you think it's useful. Um, I just wanted to do a quick um, video on some information I received. I cannot authenticate it. I've looked up various sources and um, whilst they are admitting to a couple of patents, they're not admitting to the patents referred to in this text that I'm going to read out to you that was sent to me by a dread. Um, I'll leave it up to you to deduce whether or not you feel that what I'm going to read out to you is factual. And if it's not, you can blow it on the head. Um, there are a lot of conspiracy theories about the coronavirus. We do not know what is true, what is not true. So all we can do is go by our intuition. We mustn't panic. And yes, with that background, I am going to read. It's very short. I'm going to read what I was sent. The coronavirus painted it on 22nd of May 2007. Patent number US 722852B1, made in USA by Mr. Paul Rota, Larry J. Anderson, William J. Bellini and others, for the US Department of Health. It is now clear that it, it created to cause fear pan and pandom and pandom pandom <sighs> pandemonium. Panic to drive folks to get the vaccines. The governments are going to roll out for the masses. Be very mindful of the 1918 to 1919 Spanish influenza pandemic, whereby 50 million people died worldwide, not from the virus, but from the national vaccine program. Announced a goal of vaccinating every person. 50 million people died worldwide as a result of the shots. It was as a result of public outcry being so great that it was officially stopped. History has a sinister way of repeating itself, so don't be a victim. Boost your immune system and you'll win this war that has been waged on the masses. So, um, like I said, um, the person who said that, sent that to me was a dread. I can also, for those of you who didn't see this video with the Lysol tin, I mean Lysol has been out for years and like this gentleman says, um, one of the um, one of the items, I'll call it an item for want of a better word, on the tin is the coronavirus. So listen to this. Okay, it's your boy Super Mali. This is a Lysol spray made in the USA okay it's almost done so it's been around for a while and they have a list of um, things that they say it prevents you know you use it to kill germs and so on to prevent the following list and among that list what do you see here human coronavirus so this hype about coronavirus like it's something new that we never heard of before that was just created in China and is coming to America. No. America, the USA, okay, was fully aware of this virus years ago. Okay? So don't believe the hype. Okay? I'm not sure what we're supposed to be distracted from with all this. I guess we will find out eventually. Just as we found out that ooh, Ebola was just a prank. Have a good afternoon. <laughs> So, um, I wanted to share that with you to give it, I'm not sure if it gives it credibility, I'm just putting out there the information. Um, like I said, I could find the patent that they referred to in that text. Um, there was a claim that Jacob Rothschild owns a patent to the coronavirus, but then it was sub subsequently quoted as incorrect. I also found that the coronavirus is not a single virus, but a family of them. And I also found two patent numbers for the coronavirus, not the same as the one um, in the original text, but this is EP31723193319B1 and US1013070 B2. Now we all know how long it takes to patent um, anything. 
So it does mean that the coronavirus has been with us for quite some time and that perhaps it's got nothing to do with Chinese people eating bats and that kind of food that he eats. We do not know. Like I said, uh, constantly what rings in my head is germ warfare. Deliberate biological germ warfare. That's what comes in my head. But that's just my opinion. I'm just a little woman. Well, you know, what do I know? But yeah, it just seems a bit... A bit fishy, a bit fishy. So we have to just keep alert, keep ourselves informed and just, you know, just know what's going on, basically. And we don't know what's going on because we don't know what's true from what's not true. I could be talking a load of crap. That text that I, I um, read out to you, that could be a load of crap. The Lysol tin, that has to be fact. Because that is, we can actually see that. And I know I used to um, use that Lysol tin when I lived in America, and that was before 2000. When did I come back? 2000? Yeah, I came back in 2000. And I was using the Lysol tin then. So, the information is in your hand. Do with it what you will. And that's all I've got to say, peeps. Bye-bye.